what what are you hearing from voters and specifically black voters? How is, you know, generally new st- st- polls are coming in that say Roe v. Wade is pushing people to the polls and also things like losing our democracy, pushing people to the polls. Is that similar to what you're hearing or where? Um, yeah. What where is the most excitement coming from? No, I, that is similar to what I'm hearing, but I'm also hearing it's, I mean, you know, I don't know if this was from the gas prices, whether this is inflation, everybody wants to know where my money at. Like everybody mm-hmm. wants to understand how they can get some relief. It has been yeah. a, um, a challenge. I mean, I think even when we saw the great resignation where people who are refusing who are not going back to work. They was like, well, we got all these jobs. You know, what you have is you got a whole bunch of underpaying jobs that people have decided that they're not going to continue to be exploited. How can a multi-billion dollar company like an Amazon who I order something from, I, I am, I'm a hypocrite because I do like my Amazon orders, <laughs> but, um, you know, and, and McDonald's and all these corporations make billions and billions of dollars pay their leadership millions and millions of dollars and then want people to come come to get, uh, work for a, a gallon of gas? Because because mm-hmm. that's what folks were saying. They were like, I, I had talked to a woman and she said, um, I can't afford, you all can hear my, my, my grandbaby was like, I don't really care that you're on an interview right now. I just this is cool. And we're this, a, we're, we're a kid friendly <laughs> podcast. Okay. La, la, last week we had a <laughs> Mateen's daughter very adorably came on the show. So yes, yeah, so no I'll, I'll watch my language. He he may make a grand appearance um, <laughs> um, at some point. But anyway, the bottom line is we really have to recognize that we got to right size things. That is not just what's happening in this moment. We we're looking at it like that's why I am as as as. As much as I can bring concerns and critiques um, on this administration, you know, oftentimes the people who are hit are the people who at least are doing something. And Mm -hmm. so I say that, that while, you know, like you all, I'm like, now on one hand, I'm like, you know, we don't, we talking about limits when it comes to bailing banks out. Right. And bailing the housing market out and investors out. Like, like mm-hmm. that's not, they just get these big checks and yeah. we don't hear from them anymore. And they'd be like, okay, we feel better now. Right. <laughs> and we don't, we don't hear from them anymore. But then, you know, when we're looking at specifically people now, all of a sudden folks got a problem. Like I'm, I have two things to say, shut up. Like <laughs> how, just be quiet. At the yeah. end of the day, if you're saying um, it's that whole thinking of because you suffered, I suffered. Hell, I don't right. want anybody to suffer. Like right. the, the things that were difficult in my life, the, that time period that I didn't know how I was going to pay my my car note or my house note. I don't want a human being to ever right. feel that. Right. Yes. That moment that I didn't know if I would have insurance um, to really be able to take care of the health needs of me and my son. Why would I want somebody to experience that? Because now I can afford that. Right. So yes. the bottom line is I want them to give people money. Why? Why? Why, am, why would I want you to give uh, McDonald's some money? Right. Mm-hmm. And, and Wells Fargo and Bank of America crooks like some money. Mm-hmm. But I don't want other people. I think part of that part of that doesn't just come from people. Part of Mm. that actually comes, we're fed that. We are fed this idea that corporations are a bigger contributor Mm. um, to this economy and that people only drag it down. And so I I say that because on one hand, I am support, like I have this question around, just clear all the damn debt. What's the issue with that? (laughs) You know, the, the other issue is I'm also not seeing this as an opportunity to drag the president the only president in, that we have had that has even had the audacity to actually say, "I'm going to counsel," so I'm going to counsel right. student loan debt. to even right. make mm-hmm. moves. Yeah, to even make moves in that way, and and I'm raising that because I think we have to balance, and I think both things can be true. Both things can be true that he is actually addressing something that we want, and both things, and it can also be true that you need to do more. Right. Both yeah. of those things we can hold and do true and be true. But I do think we're in this in- environment that is like the zero sum game. If you don't do everything that I want you to do, I'm going to counsel you out. 
Right. Yeah. That's not what my belief is. My belief is I'm gonna hold you accountable. I'm gonna call sure. it out just as y'all are doing on this show. Right. Yes, we need to talk about it and then call it out. But I also think we have to be politically sophisticated enough to be able to recognize that there are crazy people right now <laughs> that are trying to take over this nation. Oh, yeah. Yes, that sure. the other side is absolutely completely batshit. Uh, I, I think if, to summarize, um, yeah. <laughs> do you do you feel like that, you know, in terms of motivating people to come out, you know, do you feel like either the student debt or the climate change bill, you know, some of that, some of those, the promises of, you know, green jobs, alternative energy, oh, uh, investments in communities that have been, you know, uh, environmentally degraded because of racism and, um, you know, redlining and things like this. Is that moving folks at all or does it still feel is that is it, it is a little ab abstract for people? You know, I think that's a really good question because, I, you know, ironically, I think people in some ways are more tuned in now mm -hmm. than they normally have. So, though, if, if you had to ask me that question maybe five years ago or 10 years ago, I would be like, ah, oh, those, those down in the details. Right. Uh, but people are paying attention in a different kind of way. Right. Even around climate change, even around get, uh, the economy. Right. You know, you might not care about the economy until gas get eight, eight dollars a gallon. And you're like, wait, wait, what did they say about this economy? Right. right. So sometimes it's circumstances that bring people to pay attention. And I say that to say I do think that people are paying more attention. I yeah. think it is the Democrats responsibility to be able to speak to that what yeah. it is that they're concerning and to be able to deliver on that. Right? right. And so, because I do think that people are tuned in politically in ways that they haven't been tuned in. Now, the question is, can you turn that interest into action? Yeah. Right. Can you, can you ignite, um, can you motivate the, the, what I always say to excite and ignite the base? Can you excite and ignite the base? Yeah, uh, that they actually feel confident that you can do something about those things they care about because people do care about things. And they, I am hearing climate change. I'm hearing young people talk about climate change oh, yeah. more than I have ever heard them talk. So, about yeah, especially change. after this summer. Right. I mean, it's like and, and where you all organize in the South. I mean, like I'm thinking of the humidity I experienced uh, when I was in Louisiana for a little bit. And I was like, Ugh, just <laughs> no. Um, well, I'm from Kentucky and, and, you know, last year it was tornadoes in Western Kentucky. Yes. This year it's floods in Eastern Kentucky. Like everyone's yes. going to know what's happening sooner or later. Yeah. <laughs> right. Right. You know? Everybody knows something is going on. I think right. we have to elevate. I, I, I do think that the, the left or the progressives or whatever you all call them have to do a better job at directly connecting what it is that people are concerned with what they're going to do. Because it's one thing to, to talk about the problem. It's another thing to say, we see this problem. We're going to do this. And this is our vision of moving forward. Because I believe people are tired of the same old rhetoric, rhetoric of it's them people. It's them people. Yeah. yeah, it's true. They are extremely problematic. But I do. But people in the back of their heads, I think they also have the Janet Jackson principle. What have you done for me lately? What's going on, Frantifa? If you haven't already, subscribe to this channel right now. Hit that button. And also, you can become a patron and support the show every single week. Get access to bonus episodes and exclusive merchandise. Patreon.com slash Bituation Room. Do it.